Remnant and the ceiling, July 24. God's remnant people will be brought into great trial and distress. Those who keep the commandments of God and the faith of Jesus will feel the effects of the dragon and his hosts. The Bible tells us in the book of Zechariah, chapter 3 and verse 2, And the Lord said unto Satan, The Lord rebuke thee, O Satan. Even the Lord that had chosen Jerusalem rebuke thee. Is not this a brand plucked out of the fire? Understand, as we look at the word rebuke, it simply means reprove. In this scripture, or in this scenario, uh, we see Joshua the high priest standing, uh, with Christ standing on one side, and Satan standing on the other side. As Satan was accusing uh, him, Joshua, the high priest, of filth in his life. And understand that Satan is the accuser of the brethren. But Jesus rebukes him for all those who accept him as Lord and as Savior. Once we accept Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior, in spite the devil would want to stand and accuse us as to what we used to be, uh, Christ would rebuke him because Christ would say that is what he used to be. But now, accepting him as Lord and Savior, he is standing in our place. You might be wondering how Satan stands accusing you often over and over i want to reassure you that the devil could accuse but there is no need uh, to worry there is no need to panic why because once we accept jesus christ as our lord and savior jesus will rebuke him he will rebuke him he will rebuke him why not trust in god's word today why not accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior uh, today? Uh, let us pray and ask God to stand by our side in rebuking the enemy for his name's sake. That's the power of the word. Father in heaven, we thank you for what you have done in our lives. We pray that you will always rebuke the enemy for our sakes. Remember, O oh Father, that we choose you and we want you to be our Lord and our Savior. We thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Remember, the power of the word every day will keep the enemy at bay.